everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Last Day Outer Survival. Today, we're turn boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully, you guys are having an absolutely fan fantastic day of the most amazing Friday. That'll get some more fan fantastic from here on out. Today, we got an action back type of episode in store for y'all. So, if I'm a little bit more, a uh, little bit quieter than usual, just I'm kind of recording this video a little bit later than I usually would. And I definitely don't want to be waking one up because that'd kind of be, I don't want to wake anyone up because that would be a douche canoe move of me. But we're going to be making our way over to Jane. And along the way, we got something incredibly interesting to go ahead and show off boom and that's exactly what you guys and gals are seeing right over here this was posted earlier today by last day on earth across all of their socials with the caption survivors imagine a situation like this a horde of fierce zombies breaks into your base as luck would have it the backpack with the weapon was left outside where the monsters are raging now all you got is some supplies left on the table you can only take four items one in each hand and two in the pockets which ones will you choose yada 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 and amongst the items every item that we see is actually in the game except one very interesting little thing in that lower left hand corner as you guys are seeing there's what appears to be an ammo box an ammunition next to everything else everything else in this photo is literally an item in the game the bottles of water the food the torch the machete the c4 some of my favorite bada bing bada boom and of course the first aid kits and pistol but those bullets those are not an item that we've seen seen yet and that's where this is something incredibly interesting because i believe this is actually a teaser from kafir giving us our first initial taste of what appears to potentially be an item on the horizon and we know that we got multiple updates on the way such as season two which is going to be introducing some new stuff and season three which is going to be introducing some stuff that we've been waiting for for a long time whether that be the atv the settlers update a new bunker floor or any combination of the three something big is coming in season three and something else is going to be coming in season two and potentially somewhere along the road there might be some sort of an ammo thing incorporated into all of it because we are literally seeing what could be a perfect icon for an ammo type of item that we could use and honestly this might even be something more geared towards multiplayer maybe some sort of an entire weapon type revamp because we have seen kafir actually changing how some stuff works in multiplayer such as the healing system and having to take time to heal to try and i'm assuming all ultimately make pvp which is the next big thing in multiplayer that they are building towards to ultimately make pvp more of a balanced experience since currently it would be a little bit op because you could just spam heals but now they introduce the ability that you have to actually heal over time or take a couple of seconds to fully heal a bunch of health using something like a band-aid and potentially with some of the more powerful stuff like guns maybe they'll add the ability that guns actually have ammo or maybe this will be a last day on earth wide addition and instead of guns having durability potentially Potentially, guns will just be guns and ammo is going to be the big thing that we're going to be looking for but regardless definitely very interesting to note this little ammo box that is found and is very much so a distinct item in everything that is laid out on the table that's where it's interesting because it is literally saying an item everything we have in the game is considered an item and that's the one item that isn't in the game yet which is definitely something i want to make sure to point out to y'all and definitely let me know what y'all think about it in that comment section down below below because i'd love to hear you guys' thoughts around this ammo box because i know it is it's it's very interesting of a thought but now that the idea comes to mind i could definitely see it being incorporated and there are actually other mobile survival games such as actually that one that we were playing shelter z survival or something like that was actually incorporating something similar where your guns never break instead there's an ammo system you use ammo to regenerate the durability of your guns and they can actually combine guns to create more power powerful versions of themselves all of which sound like incredible ideas that i would love oh baby one tarnation did not mean to click that oh sorry about the burp over there as well but as you guys can see we are also making our return to mechanic jane jane i know the drill I'm fully expecting it at this point. I know that there's heartbreak on the horizon. Unless y'all listen, I, I said it last time. Last time we were going for two likes on the video. Jane was not amused with two likes, guys and gals. I know this might be a lot to ask, but can we smash the bejesus out of that like button and show to Jane that we deserve this Leviathan skin we've been chasing? Can we? And I hope this isn't too much to ask for. Get three. I repeat, three. That would be tres in Espanol. Che. Popolsku, three in Polish, three in Spanish. 
That is what we need. Can we get three likes on this video and show to Jane that we deserve that Leviathan skin? Because I just want to show that thing off. I've been trying so hard without further ado. Jane, no way me, no way me, no way me. Prussia Barzo, Prussia Barzo, David Sush. The Brego. Nothing the Brego awaits us. Instead, more volume increases, which honestly isn't the worst perk in the world and more so. I'm just excited for us to max out this perk because after that, I think she will literally be forced to take give us the Leviathan skin because like, I don't know. The other two perks are the durability and the damage. Like after we max those out, what else is there for her to give us? She is going to literally run out of perks that she has to give us and eventually she will be forced to give us the Leviathan skin if it's even still here. Cause I haven't seen the Leviathan skin like the last couple of times I've been here. So if this thing has actually disappeared, I will be the biggest of sads. <laughs> oh baby, please don't tell me it's disappeared. If any of you guys know anything, about this lost leviathan skin that we are apparently in the midst of searching for please tell me it's still possible to get i'd love to hear that that'd be very reassuring in that comment section down below Ooh, pizza candy and that rest stop is right by the gas station prime time for us to head on over here and actually we're gonna be mixing things up a little bit we're bringing out our uh, fully modified winchester and here's the thing the winchester i know i bag on it because it actually got nerfed to do less damage although the nerf did actually make it a lot quicker to fire its actual bullets which is definitely nice and kind of a decent balance change but with the winchester a lot of its mods are incredibly expensive to create the good news is is that some of the mods such as the ones we are rocking are all actually common mods as you can see and they have literally boosted our winchester from 21 to 27 damage making it kind of a quote unquote threat if you want to call it that so let's just see just how threatening this can be and kill a deer! Nice! Yes! Yes, my precious! This Winchester will do just fine at killing the next largest target in here, which is, of course, going to be the survivor! Oh, baby! Yeah, keep out of this! Oh, no, I'm not keeping out of this, although, yeet! We can go ahead and actually hit this guy with a couple of little bit of turn and burn over here. We just gotta make sure that we are healing. We got a bunch of angry motorcyclists coming after us. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, honestly, shotgun rain. Let's try and take out the both of them. Okay, we did a little bit of damage. Definitely not enough damage. Oh, definitely not enough damage. I wish I had an active skill mod on this thing. It's still looking forward to seeing what it is. See ya! That's one Winchester down and one survivor. I mean, one survivor down with the help of the Winchester. Another one bites the dust. But I know, no, no. Just got a third random dude to go and kill because apparently, dude, it's always hilarious to me. In this version, the deer hunt version of the gas station event, not the gas station, the gas, not gas stop. I just know that you can get gas out of here. My mind is prioritized on gas. In just this version, there's literally like the third survivor who's like, nah. You know, Bob and Tom over there, they got it covered. Me, Maximilius, the third motorcyclist survivor. I don't need to get my hands dirty. Well, guess what? Unfortunately for you, Mr. Survivor, a shotgun rain says otherwise. Bye-bye. Ooh, give me some of that marvelous loot. You are rocking. Also, apologies if today's video is going to be a little bit on the shorter side. Due to the fact that I am recording so late, I really feel bad recording too much because, like, the last thing that I would want to do is, like, wake someone up because of me being, uh, well, hype. You guys know how hype I get, so the last thing I would want to do is do that. And I want to make sure to get this video out to y'all ASAP. And usually when a video is shorter, I can get it out a little bit on the lickety split because it takes quicker to render, quicker to upload, quicker to process on YouTube, all that type of jazz. And I do not want y'all being last down on Earthless because, again, Su super sincerest of apologies today has been an absolutely hectic day with school and actually some uh, job interview and job fair stuff going on with me uh oh piece of candy on the search for a job after i graduate my senior year over here and get hopefully my computer science degree unless things freaking get disastrous but i mean eh, nothing's been disastrous yet so i'm crossing my fingers that continues but let's see what we got in here oh baby I like what we got in here. That is a significantly nicer M16 and a little bit of gas mask action. And why don't we go ahead and take this opportunity to siphon your gas? Because listen, that is one of the big reasons I love coming here is all of the gas that I can get. Let's go ahead and boop, 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 boop. And toss those up in there and then we'll siphon a little bit of that last gas tank. But like I was saying, definitely what you guys do think about the ammo stuff that we were showing off a little bit earlier. What do you guys think about it potentially being an addition within one of these upcoming 
upcoming seasons or maybe even just what would you guys think about a ammo type of idea in general how would you guys like to see ammo potentially incorporated maybe it has the ability to like repair guns i think that that would actually be pretty freaking cool if like maybe it's just like it's like kind of like the repair kit that you can use on your chopper but you could use it on like a specific gun that would be incredibly cool and definitely something i could get behind so let me know what you guys would think about an ammo box like ammo type of thing and if so how you guys would like to see it incorporated because i think that's some very interesting stuff that i'd love to get you guys' input and overall see what we can theorize as a community and maybe uh catch kefir before they release it because we've been actually pretty good at pinpointing stuff that deer almost ran oh jesus that tree definitely ran in front of me i was about to say that deer almost ran in front of me but we've been pretty good about pinpointing stuff using a lot of these context clues and hints that kefir does drop leading up to updates i'd love to hear what we can come up with for this particular example because it is a pretty interesting one to say the least and a reminder that that comment is gonna put you one third of the way into the weekly tribe that i just place store a gift card giveaway all you gotta do as well is make sure that like button and make sure to subscribe that'll let you in on today's video y'all can go ahead and enter in on every single last day on earth video when saturday rolls around we'll pick random video for the past week pick a random comment from that random video and that will be the winner for the week and we'll kick off a new weekly giveaway that exact same saturday as well so make sure you stay tuned with that notification bell to stay up to date with every single video y'all can enter in on for that weekly giveaway not to mention all the other dope survival games going up on the channel as well that it does help you guys stay in the loop on because in case you guys are not aware i'm a little bit of a survival fanatic myself and uh, if y'all like last day on earth great chance you like some other survival games and great chance you'll enjoy some of the other stuff that we are showing off and some of the new games that we discover so much so you guys might even start playing the games yourself or just kind of keep up with the series that we are doing on them so make sure to have the notification bell hit and uh, stay in the loop but without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and prepare for today's raid and we're gonna be bringing out the big guns the fun guns for some of the shenanigans we got lined up for today and of course putting away some of the stuff that we don't necessarily need so i'm gonna do that and talk to y'all and it's like fun without further ado it's time for us to get into the meat and potatoes of every day at least in my opinion and that is one of the most glorious times of every single day it's a little thing known as today's daily raid so let's go ahead and whip up whip up some of these hatchets over here to help us break into this base that we got lined up which is a revenge raid so we gotta go and steal some of our stuff back and hopefully get some additional loot on top of it not to mention with the assistance of iron hatchets and unt c4 of a highly 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 explosive variety we are looking lined up for success so let's go ahead and do it and while we are doing that don't forget to line yourselves up for success by hitting that notification bell so you guys can stay in the loop with the latest and greatest of last day on earth information as well anytime any type of new info does come out such as that which was released today and or ooh, piece of candy that's over by the farm nah dog i'm making my way over to the base just making sure our weapons are silenced besides the shotgun since that does have the spread shot which you can't silence the spread shot unfortunately if you could I might be the happiest lad in all of Neverland and I never even visited Neverland. That's how happy I'd be So let's start making our way over here But yeah, that notification bell is a great way to stay up to date with the latest and greatest of last Earth info as new info does come out We're keeping y'all in the loop sharing gameplay sneak peeks uh, Screenshot previews any new info that does come out and connecting that with other info that we already know and other info that has come out Another info that comes out to give us the clearest look at the future of last on earth of these updates What to expect out of them what they are going to contain and on top of it all as soon as a new update does come out We are checking it out absolutely asap and showing off all that it has to offer new locations new enemies new anything if something new is into the game oh ho, 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 we're gonna have an absolutely fan freaking fantastic time showing it off across a ton of videos because every time a new update comes out that is when it is prime video making time baby because we got a whole plethora of new stuff to be covering so stay tuned because fun times are plenty to come and make sure to stay tuned into this video because fun times are plenty in t minus five four three two one and a half one a half boom and we are in baby let's go ahead and gather up all the troops over here because what we are going to be planning is the most strategic use of our shotgun as possible usually i would not recommend using a sil a non-silenced weapon i should say during the course of a raid but with the help of a shotgun raid it makes it a little bit of an exception because as you guys just saw i can take out a huge plethora of zombies and pretty much just takes up a little bit of shotgun durability you can even just bring over your almost broken shotguns in that case and just kind of use the last little bit of them and well in exchange for like a fraction of a noise Ooh, another atv 
Man, let me just say, we are coming across quite a few ATVs lately. Are these raids trying to tell us something? If so, raids, can you have like a fully completed ATV inside of you? Uh, inside of some of your boxes? That'd be highly appreciated because uh, I, I I have this ATV here back at base. I, I, I kind of need a fully assembled one. Or if y'all want to have an ATV transmission, no complaints here. I'm totally cool with either. So uh, yes, please give me. Give me, give me, give me. Oh, that is not very tea, man. Who does this? Who creates this abomination? <laughs> Cooking berry tea. Why would you do this? This lacks the one awesome thing that berries actually have. The ability to heal. Look at this. 92 health. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's still 92 health. Although it does give you a little bit of hunger, actually. You guys can see we're at 91 hunger. And uh, we go up. That's so pointless, though. Because real food actually heals you on top of that. Even berries do. Like, it's a little bit. But still, for the love of everything, please do not do this. Do not create your berries into berry tea. It just wastes their healing properties. And ooh. Uh, that's just RM16. I always get excited when I see a gun. And then my brain so slowly processed. Like, beep, pop, boop. That's right, my brain's actually a computer. Let's be honest, I'm pretty much a robot. <laughs> my brain's like, beep, pop, boop. And the next thing you know, it's like, star, you dingus. This is your brain so speaking. That's, uh, that's the loot that you had already. And I'm like, darn nabbit. Ain't that, Whoa! My brain cells were too busy making calculations about the loot. <laughs> totally forgot that, uh, the noise threshold was crossed for these doofuses to make their triumphant return. So our M16 is definitely gonna break throughout the course of this. And, oh, baby. I thought we were about to get cornered by some of those floater bloaters. Yeah, our stuff is definitely going to be breaking. But with the help of slow motion, we should be able to take out a couple of these dudes. Ah! He managed to get a hit off on me. That is no bueno. And then use the last little bit of our pistol drizzle over here. And then after that, we'll just go over to our M16. Because, yep, that has officially broken. And we still got our... Actually, we got two fully silenced M16s. But I'm going to save the full durability one. Because we're going to toss that into our pickup truck to get another inventory. By the way, dude, it is unbelievable. Ever since we did it, instead of going for four skulls, we went for three skulls in terms of, like, the rating meter, right? And uh, I feel we've, get, we've been getting revenge raids every single day. They're not the highest quality revenge raids, but I think just raid quality in general lately has been kind of whack. If you guys agree with me or whatever you guys think about that, let me know personally, like maybe what your raiding experience has been like lately. But to me, seems like it's been a little bit whack as of late. Oh, there's just my aluminum I've recovered. We haven't really gotten any incredible bases, which is a little bit lackluster. But like I'm saying, might just be bad luck on my end. Maybe some of you all have been having good luck and whatnot. But I was wondering if I could eat that food. No. I was wondering, like, how's it treating you guys? Because lately, like, I don't know. We're getting revenge raids a lot more often, but just all, all the raids we've been doing, man. Revenge raids, normal raids, they've all been, like, relatively poopy in the grand scheme of things. And that looked like. I like good raids, bro. And that's not exactly something we're getting right now. So, like, I am a little bit sad, boy. Let's go ahead and take out some of these fast biters before they manage to swarm us and dish out a little bit of damage. But... Yeah, it definitely makes me a little bit sad, boy, because I was kind of, like, expecting things to, uh, I don't know, be a little bit better than that. But unfortunately for us, they are not going super smooth, to say the least. But YOLO, we'll just go ahead and wing it. Ah, don't hurt me. Stupid. Did that guy just double hit me? I swear, I just... Oh, that's because it was the Siamese Twin Toxic Abominations, except one apparently just separated from the other by the power of a twerking. Dude, I swear, that one was whipping out some advanced dance moves over there. It really got you nice and separated from the other feller, but that won't be enough to save you there, Toxic Abomination, buddy. I am unfortunate to say. Luckily for us, we do got a little bit of medical supplies. We put leftovers away. We put gun number two into there. And let's go ahead and put some stuff over into our chopper as well. But yeah, man, raids lately, they've been kind of poopy. Like, we've been getting them more consistently. I just don't know if maybe, like, three skull raids are more common, but less good. Or maybe if we're just having, like, bad luck. It could definitely be a whole variety of things. But I do know for a fact, man. I don't know what it is. When we had four skulls, we were getting, like, no raids. Now, we're getting raids every single day. And personally, I just wish they were a little bit better. But I cannot complain. As weird as it sounds, I cannot complain about being raided every day. So I am a relatively happy camper in the grand scheme of things. And hopefully those raids continue because, uh, well... I might sound crazy, but you gotta remember, 
being raided is the key to pretty much a free raid if you play your cards right and if you play your cards right you only lose what you'll want them to take from you which is kind of where things get a little bit interessante and at this point we're just kind of like going to be picking over the scraps and trying to grab the last little bit of semi-decent stuff that this base has to offer which involves bricks a little bit of wood a couple of carrots here there's got a couple of berries like eh. Definitely getting a little bit on the suspicious side in terms of filling out our inventory, so bless up, I didn't just have a C4 in my inventory, because that thing would have just been wasted. But, uh, yeah. With that said, with that done, let's go with and start bringing an end slash conclusion. I was about to say, like, end occlusion. Let's go with and start bringing an end unless there's some good workbenches around here, but I'm not really seeing any, like, worthwhile workbenches to break into. Besides those that we have already vandalized nice and nicely. So, uh, yeah. With that said, with that done, that's going to wrap it up for this relatively short episode of Last Down Survival. Sorry, it is a little bit on the shorter side, like I'm saying. I want to get it up to y'all ASAP, and apologies that it is up so late and all that. But uh, with that said, with that done, that's going to start wrapping it up for me for now. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching. Have yourselves an awesome one, and I'll talk to you next one. See ya.